<laughs> now, our special guest today is one of the funniest ladies in South Africa. She started her career in 2006, and seen, since then, she's seen uh, success on the silver screen, on TV, in the theatre, and in many, many other respects as well. You can catch her live in action on the 11th of August at Goldie City's Lyric Theatre with her new stand-up show called Her Story. Dumi Morake, very, very great to have her here. She's been keeping us in stitches all morning long. <laughs> Don't lie to the country. No, can you? Yeah. Like, you are really, really funny. <laughs> I find you hilarious. <laughs> truly, truly funny. All right, let's start off with your show, Her Story at the Lyric Theatre on the 11th of August. What is Her Story all about? Her Story is a play on the word history. Uh -huh. So I'm telling my, my history, but it's her, her story. Uh -huh. Because her I'm, story. A, I'm a she, not a him, right? We hope. Um, I'm joking. I'm joking, <laughs> well, I'm joking. You know, the cats don't lie. Um, <laughs> And it's, it was inspired by, you know that album Michael Jackson used to have, that ugh, the, they used to have, the history album, yes, where uh -huh. he highlighted his, yes. and for his story. Uh -huh. And I was like, yeah, man, <laughs> <laughs> her, her story. So are you, are you basically man bashing in this? Are you, are you manning? I don't need to bash no man. Oh, is it? <laughs> I don't need to bash no man so, what, to raise ladies up. No, I got this. Have, have you run the, the material? I love men. I have a husband. I don't bash. Have, have you actually what? run the material past him? Does he? Yeah. I have. And he blushed under all that black skin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, but you know what's sad is I test a lot of material on my husband. Yeah. And he's a little too honest. Like, it's okay. I know we're comfortable with each other, but sometimes I wish he wouldn't be so honest. Oh, like, he just sometimes he looks at me and he's like, <laughs> the worst thing is when he goes, why do you leave all the crappy jokes for me? Why? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> so, that is so uh, great. And then over and above that, you also, you being a professional mom, I think that's you would need some advice. I, I want to ask that because you see yourself as a professional mom. Now, I want to know two things. What, what, is a, what does a professional mom mean to you? Uh, and I need some tips because I'm about to become a professional dad. So, oh, wow. you know, share with me. Here. Professional mom means you're able to discipline without ending up in jail. <laughs> it's, 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 oh. You find that balance. Okay. You're like, the, I swear, there are times with my <laughs> three-year-old where I'm like, <laughs> If there's a tranquilizer gun that is okay for children, can I please be the first to purchase and can get a license? Just, just so, wait, wait, wait. Like, are, you, wait. are you one of those parents? Because I know my grandmother was not like that. My grandmother beat. She beat <laughs> hard. Beat. So are you one of those parents that goes, <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. Anyone who watches to me more again knows my material, knows I don't hit my kids. You don't? Because my husband's from Ghana. Yeah. All right, Aquaba, Aquaba, uh -huh, Mr. Uh -huh. What is his name? So, or say tutu. Or say tutu. Yes. So I don't hit because then it'll look like a xenophobic attack. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's heard me say that. Oh so my I, word! I, I can't. <laughs> um, I am exploring painting, which is something my painting? grandmother. That's whoo, the worst. My grandma, my, hey, my grandmother. And you know she wouldn't chase you. You run away. She <laughs> lets you forget. Said to me. Do you remember my nana? Come in, come here quickly. And to go, because you've almost forgotten me. Grabs you in the thighs, <laughs> squeezes, the and thigh. then gets in there. And you know, it's not like, you know, like, why did you know? This one gives her time to compose her monologue. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> This is like back in the day when they used to say, <laughs> Have you ever heard of that? No. What? When, when grandmothers pinch you. They're eating you ping. Yeah. They're eating you ping. So <laughs> eating you ping. eating you ping. And it's perfect that you call it ping because it is just, it's that tiny prick and you will never forget. So I want to explore that with my son. Wow. Because wow. I've not cornered the hell out of I'm, him I'm and I get no him. satisfaction. I feel punishment should not only discipline, it should satisfy the parent. <laughs> <laughs> it should satisfy the parent. I should be well. satisfied. Well, all right. Not to corner, that's not satisfied. <laughs> But tell me this, wow. I mean, you are clearly holding it down in a very, very male-dominated kind of industry, yes. but you are doing it for the ladies, yeah. doing it right. Yeah. How, do you, how do you manage to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you spanking? I'm spanking the comedy industry. I'm like, you. Yeah. Um, who's your mama? Um, <laughs> Uh, it's easy. I grew up with guys. I know guys. I know testosterone, you know, and, and I'm good with that, right? Like, <laughs> me, I don't got issues. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, let's make funny. Yeah, yeah. You know? And you, you will survive in this industry if you are doing your thing. Yeah. Because mm. I came on as a female comic and there were people who had expectations. Like, yeah, finally you'll hear the black perspective. Finally you'll hear the black woman perspective. Mm -hmm. Finally you'll hear the feminist perspective. I'm like, hold on with your perspective. Me, I just want to make fun. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, and you do it, you do it and very, that's very all well. I'm doing. Exactly. Yeah. Excellent exactly. stuff. Well, we can't wait for your Sham Show. It's going to get mad, mad reviews. Catch it 11th of yes. August. Goldie City's lyric theater is called Her Is it? So do you say Her Story or do you yes. say Her Story? Her Story. If you say Her Story, then you know English is not everybody's a uh, uh, popular <laughs> tongue or mother tongue, and people <laughs> might just hate themselves. Let's just say it's Her Story. Live here. It's great to have her here. Over to another fantastic lady, Liesl.